Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall explain what a point x, y on a graph of proportional relationship means in terms of situation with special attention to the points 0, 0 and 1, r where r is unit rate. We will see what does the point x, y means on the graph? Then we will see what is the relationship between the points x, y and 1, r. Now let us see this graph. In this graph, x axis represents the number of days and y axis represents the number of hours a person slept. Now here, let us consider the ordered pair 2, 18. Now in this order pair, 2 represents the number of days and 18 represents the number of sleeping hours. So we can say that in two days a person slept for 18 hours. So any ordered pair x, y on this graph means for x days, a person slept for y hours. Here we can see another ordered pair. Let us consider the ordered pair 436, which means in 4 days, a person slept for 36 hours. So the meaning of the ordered pair x, y depends on the situation. Now let us see the ratio of each ordered pair. So we have the ratios 9 upon 1 which is equal to 9. Then the next ratio will be equal to 18 upon 2 which is again equal to 9. Then the next ratio is 27 upon 3, which is equal to 9. And the next ratio is 36 upon 4, which is equal to 9. Therefore, 9 upon 1 is equal to 18 upon 2 is equal to 27 upon 3 is equal to 36 upon 4 is equal to 9. So it is a proportional relationship and here the constant of proportionality It means y upon x is equal to 9 upon 1. So y is equal to 9x will be its equation. Now from the given equation, we can answer this question which says how many hours did the person sleep in 5 days? Now let this be equation number 1. So putting x is equal to 5 
in equation number 1, we get y is equal to 9 into 5, which is equal to 45. Therefore, y is equal to 45 hours. So, a person slept for 45 hours in 5 days. In this equation, x is the input and y is the output. And the equation gives us the relationship between the two variables y and x. y is equal to 9x is a linear function whose graph is a straight line clearly if x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 9 into 0 which is equal to 0 so the graph of this equation passes through the origin that is the point zero zero. Now let us study the meaning of the point one R where R is the unit rate and its relation with the point x, y. Now we know that when a rate is simplified so that it has denominator of one unit is called unit rate. Now in this example which we have discussed earlier, unit rate means how much a person sleeps per day which is equal to 9 upon 1 that is 9 hours per day. So there, bar it there, one line can be written as the audit pair 1 R. Now here, the points are proportional and there is an increase of 9 hours with an increase of 1 day on comparing With unit rate, we mean for every one unit, moved in x-axis, nine units are moved. vertically in y axis. So any other pair x, y on the graph of proportional relationship gives the same ratio which is equal to r. It means y upon x is equal to r upon 1 which implies y is equal to rx. This means y coordinate is r times the x coordinate, where r is the unit rate.
Now consider the point x, y on the graph. Now let us see what does the point 218 means in relation to the point 1R. That is the point 1,9. It means when we moved one unit further on the x-axis, that is we have reached the point 2 on the x-axis, then we have moved 9 units vertically and reached the point 18 on the y-axis, which is 9 times the x-coordinate. Or you can say here the x-coordinate is 2. So the y-coordinate is 9 into 2 which is equal to 18. Graphically, we can find the point x, y. Now here we moved 4 units from 1 horizontally and we reached the point 5 on the x-axis that is x is equal to 5 then y is 9 times 5 that is 45. So, for the point x, y, x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 9 into 5, that is equal to 45. Hence, the point x, y is equal to the point with coordinates 5, that is x is equal to 5, y is equal to 45. Now here also rate of change between x, y, that is 5, 45, which means the ordered pair 5, 45, and the point 1R, that is the ordered pair 1, 9, as R is equal to 9, is change in Y, that is 45 minus 9, upon change in X, that is 5 minus 1, which is equal to 36 upon 4. Now 4 into 1 is 4 and 4 into 9 is 36. So this is equal to 9 upon 1. We can also say with an increase of 4 days that is from 1 we have moved to 5 so the change is of 5 minus 1, that is 4 units. The hours of sleeping were increased by 36, that is from 9. We have reached to 45. So the change is 45 minus 9, which is equal to 36. Also, from the origin, that is the point with coordinates 0, 0. The rate of change between the point x, y, that is the point with coordinates 5, 45 and the point 0, 0 is 45.
5 minus 0 upon 5 minus 0 which is equal to 45 upon 5. Now 5 into 1 is 5 and 5 into 9 is 45. So this is also equal to 9 upon 1. That is y minus 0 upon x minus 0 is equal to y upon x. Thus, we see in a proportional relationship, ratio of change in y upon change in x is same for any points from the point 1R or from the point 0, 0. And it is a constant rate of change which is equal to unit rate. Here it shows an increase of 9 hours when a day is increased by 1. Here you can see as the days are increased by 1, then the corresponding hours are increased by 9. Now keep in mind the following points. That is, from a graph, a proportional relationship can be concluded if there is a constant rate of change in the values of x and y between any two points on graph and if the ratio of y upon x is a constant. And if there is a constant rate of change but the ratio y upon x differs then we say the two quantities are not in proportion. And note that whenever a line passes through the origin, that is the point with coordinates 0, 0, That is a proportional relationship then unit rate is y upon x. So in this session we have learned that the graph of a proportional relationship always passes through the origin. So it means the rate of change between any ordered pair x, y and 1, r is constant in a proportional relationship. Similarly, the rate of change between the ordered pair x, y and the ordered pair 0, 0 is also same. In short, the ratio never changes and y is equal to rx where r is the unit rate. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.